Brooklyn Independent Television. Hi, I'm Brian Vines. Welcome to this Brooklyn Independent TV special, Brooklyn Storms Back. The last time we saw documentary photographer Stephen Hoffman on our program, Caught in the Act, Art in Brooklyn, he was documenting life in Coney Island's public housing projects. Post Sandy, Stephen is back in Coney Island, reconnecting with the people and the community with his camera in hand. My name is Steve Hoffman, and I'm a documentary photographer who's been working out here in Coney Island for about seven years, photographing the people that live in the housing projects, stores, and on the street, and just generally documenting the community. So I was out here doing that, photographing some of the destruction, photographing the debris, talking to people. And then about three or four days later, I came out again and I started going to the churches that I had been photographing for the last few years. And it was just unbelievable. I mean, the fact that there was really nothing left. The buildings were still there, but the interior of the churches was completely gone. Okay. <laughs> My name is uh, Bishop Whalen Hobbs, Jr. The name of the church is Coney Island Cathedral. Uh, I'm the pastor of the church, and I'm also the clergy liais liaison for the New York City Police Department, the 60th Precinct out here in Coney Island. FEMA helps the uh, residents, uh, homeowners, and FEMA also has something for small businesses. FEMA doesn't have anything in place at this time for religious institutions, uh, which the government needs to uh, have a branch of FEMA that just deals with the need of religious institutions. And... Uh, well, as you can see up front, you know, I don't know if you can see it from here, the back, that, the, yeah, this back wall, which used to be our, uh, our stage area, pulpit area, uh, just above the blue where it's the white paint, you can see maybe uh, two or three feet above that, it's a line, uh, of, uh, like a little dark line, that's how high the water was uh, in our sanctuary. So we had to throw out all our pews, this is uh, some of the pews, of course, pull out all the sheetrock uh, to make sure that we uh, combat the molding or prevent mold from uh, growing. So we had to pull all the sheetrock out. Uh, we're going to have to have a company come in uh, that has a heating uh, equipment that dries up the rest of the moisture. And once they do that and I think treat it, uh, treat the wood, then we can start replacing wood, putting new sheetrock, and uh, of course, you know, just fixing back up the sanctuary. Well, this church here on Neptune Avenue is one that's been feeding a lot of people since the storm. I've been back here several times. I felt that the media wasn't really covering what was going on out here. I mean, I mean, you saw a couple of things now and then on, on, on the news, but not to the extent that the, uh, that the devastation was. It, it warranted a lot, lot more, uh, a lot more looking at because it was really, really serious. No, no, these people work for an organization called Brooklyn Independent Television. Oh, okay. Well, and they're documenting what's going on here, oh. and I called them, and they felt oh. that there was a good story here. Yeah, but so mostly they're, story. Concent they're concentrating on the churches. Okay. What people need to understand is that we need a full-service vehicle out here that will supply stamps, money orders for the people of this area. They have the closest places located on Avenue U and uh, 15th Street, and that's far from here. That's about three miles away. And for those that don't have cars, they're just not gonna get their mail. My name is Constance Hulla, and I am the pastor of this church, the Coney Island Gospel Assembly. Today we are doing uh, disaster relief in terms of giving out non-perishable foods, fresh vegetables, products for cleaning, for uh, blankets, water, uh, clothing and then hot meals are being served by the Red Cross today outside our gate on the other side of the fence and the church was severely damaged uh, the lower level which is our level of operations for Christian education um, many uh, community groups use our, our lower level our offices are down there was totally destroyed and wiped out so we're operating on generators 
I'm just looking to document the people that live here, the conditions that are here, uh, how people live. Uh, I, I photograph a lot in their apartments, a lot in their homes. Uh, again, in their churches, it's, it's a very, very uplifting thing to come to some of these uh, churches on a Sunday morning and, and see the parishioners while they're praying, while they're singing, while they're dancing. It's, it's just a tremendous, tremendous thing. And so I'm just documenting that. Right. Watch it. Why is there? It's amazing, eh? And it even smells better. <laughs> My name is Anthony Williamson and I represent the construction and general building laborers, Local 79. When we heard about the impact of Hurricane Sandy in this community, we decided to come into these communities and give something back. We also have been involved with uh, other churches, not only this church, as tomorrow I plan to help uh, the United Community Baptist Church to help them cleaning and you know, bringing this, you know, the church into a state of readiness also. All right, my name is Connis Maurice Mobley, and I'm pastor of the United Community Baptist Church right in the heart of the Coney Island section of Brooklyn, New York. Right now where we're standing, we had pews that were on both sides of the building. We were able to seat 320 people in here comfortably, and that was without putting down chairs. Then you would have the music on this side and immediately here were steps that went to the pulpit which was centered. So you can see the two windows that we did have in place, we would have sustained the damage, but then because of two windows being broken out, the water came into the building. Certainly more than just photographing people, now I, I have these relationships with a lot of people and I just want to make sure that uh, everybody knows what's going on here and what happened here and that the people that I know are safe and taken care of. So at large, this community church, named United Community, has been our focal point since I've been back home here for the last 15 years. And we've been striving to emulate the name itself that says it's United Community, which means we are united in the community, united with the community, and united for the community. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.